Everyone knows GTR Lighting makes some of the best LED headlight bulbs in the world. The Ultra 2 was the best of the best, and then a handful of competitors came out with something that competes with that product, but not anymore. The Ultra 3 is a game changer. It's brighter than anything else on the market by at least 20%, if not more. They're smaller than the Ultra 2. They come in two different colors. There's less wiring. They have custom components that allows them to beat the competition. If you want the best of the best today, this is it. Nothing else even comes close. We're gonna show you what comes in the box, what makes them special from a technical level, and why you need them for your next project. Now, as you know, here at Headlight Revolution, we do lighting better because we test and we've been testing. We've been putting these bulbs through the paces, trying to break them and trying to see what applications they don't perform in. But the truth is, we've been seeing brightness increased levels on different cars and trucks of upwards of 800% brighter than the stock headlights. That's insane. Nothing we have ever tested before is as bright as these. And as you know, if you've ever seen our videos, we have tested a lot of bulbs. So if you wanna see if we have a setup for your specific car or truck application, go check out the videos in our channel where we show you install and performance in vehicle specific applications, or you can go to headlightrevolution.com, put in your year make and model, and you'll see them there for yourself. But the first thing you need to do to figure out exactly how to get these in your vehicle is to know which bulbs you have, because these bulbs are not headlight bulbs. They are not fog light bulbs. They are replacement halogen bulbs that fit a number of applications. They can fit your snowmobile, they can fit your ATV, they can fit your low beam, your high beam, or your fog lights. All you gotta know is exactly which light bulb you have in your vehicle right now that you wanna replace. So take that light bulb out, check it out, figure out what it is, and they come in 9,005, 9,006, 9,012, 9,004, 9,007, H11, H4, H13, 5202. There's a whole bunch of different options, There's a dozen different bulbs that these fit. And so that's step one, figure out what bulbs you have and then go to the website and find the one that matches your stock light bulb because these come exactly designed to install where your original light bulb came out regardless of the position. Now, as everybody knows, LED bulbs like this aren't legal for use on public roads because they're just too bright, especially these ones. But there's a whole bunch of applications where it's just fine, like your fog lights or in off-road applications or racing or car shows or events. When you figure out exactly which bulb you need, the connector is going to plug into your factory wiring in your vehicle and this socket is gonna plug it directly into your headlight. Totally plug and play, that's what it means. And I'm telling you, look at this size. The old Ultra 2 bulbs were still fairly small, but they still didn't fit in every single application. Maybe the heat sink was too big or the heat sink was too long. They've done a good job at making these the brightest LED bulbs in the world, but they're smaller somehow. How do they do that? In a minute, we're gonna talk about the technology that makes all this work. And a big part of it is from the heat dissipation strategy with this heat pipe up top and the custom LED chip and some things that are going on with that that make it a different type of technology than what you're used to seeing in LED bulbs. These are seriously cutting edge next generation tech. But I have a C5 Corvette at home. If you know anything about me, I love sports cars, and it's got the pop-up headlights. Well, I actually put the Ultra 2 bulbs in it about two months ago, and the heat sinks were so big, the, the, the buckets wouldn't go down because the heat sink of the Ultra 2 would interfere with the arm, the, the mechanism that makes it go up and down. Well, luckily for me, just in time, these came in, and I swapped them out, and they're insanely bright, and they fit. It's so cool to find a bulb that's this good and this high quality that has the, the driver integrated, but there's still a lifetime warranty and they're insanely bright. In the past, what we would see is the bulbs that had the integrated driver weren't very bright because of the heat saturation problems. You know, in electronics, the hotter something gets, the worse it performs. Well, between the heat sink and the LED chip and the fan, these things can get pretty warm and perform really great. So let's open one of these boxes and see exactly what you get. Inside the box, you can see it says Ultra 3 LED with the logo and the URL, and it's got this cool line drawing. So inside the box is pretty simple. You got your two bulbs 
and you have your adjustment screw. That's all you need to install these. There's no extra parts. There's no anti-flicker harness. There's no PWM module. There's no adapters. There's, new, there's no pass-through harness. You don't need anything. It's literally as simple as taking out your original bulbs and installing the new ones. Now, like we talked about with the low profile design, sometimes when you install the bulb and clock it and lock it in place, it doesn't sit exactly correct depending on how your vehicle was made. For example, about 95% of vehicles, these things come out of the box ready to go and they are in the correct orientation for the best light up. But, but on my Corvette, I actually had to tweak it a little bit. So I used the included Allen wrench and you get access to this adjuster screw. On the H11 like this one, you can see it's underneath this rubber grommet. And be really careful, you don't have to take the screw all the way out. And when you're tightening it, you don't have to tighten it all the way. The way this adjustment mechanism works is really cool because there's a little bit of drag to make sure that it doesn't spin too far and it doesn't need a lot of security to stay put. So if you put your bulb in and it is like sitting at an angle like this, that's a problem because your LEDs are pointing down and up. They're supposed to be pointing left and right. So you gotta tweak it where the cord goes down and your chips are actually facing left and right like this. So once you kinda mock it up with your hands, you don't wanna put it in the vehicle and like play with it because you might not be able to get it back out. So just kinda hold it, like install it, see how it's working and then take it out and like kinda put it back in that position and then play with it a little bit and get it just right. And it's okay if you have to try this a few times. And then when you get it out of the car, you just tighten that little Allen screw back up doesn't take a lot of effort. Put the rubber grommet back on and then it's good to go. It's not moving anywhere. So that's how you do the adjustment. And because there's no driver, it's really easy to install these, especially for a vehicle that everything goes inside the headlight assembly, like on a lot of trucks, where you unscrew the dust cap, you pull out the light bulb, you put this in and all the wiring. There's no extra wiring anymore. So they've solved that problem too. And I don't know if you've seen this, a lot of people probably haven't quite picked this up, but there's two different colors. So when you're choosing your bulbs, you're either gonna pick the white that comes in at 5,950 Kelvin. That's kind of a warm white with a very small hint of blue. It's a little warmer than the old Ultra 2 bulbs. Or you're gonna pick the yellow bulbs that come in at a 3,000 K yellow color. And not everybody has two different colors of bulbs. The yellow fog lights are great in a fog light application. First of all, just for style, because a lot of people think the white on top and the yellow on the bottom looks really cool. But the reason people did that is because the waves of light for the yellow color react differently in air with a lot of particulates in it. So think snow, rain, dust, dirt, anything that's in the air the yellow light doesn't reflect off of those particulates as much and it gives the appearance to the human eye that you can see better in front of you even though it's inclement weather. So you can get either one, a yellow 3000K or a white 5950K. But why is it so specific? Well, a big part of that has to do with this LED chip. Get a close up on this chip. This is not your average chip. So for a long time, we've taught that the size of the LED chip, the, the, the part of the bulb that actually creates the light, it needs to be as close to the size, shape, and position as the original halogen light bulb. If you've ever watched any of our videos, this isn't the first time you've heard this. And the Ultra 3 has a smaller LED chip than its predecessor, the Ultra 2. It's still not a perfect replication of the halogen bulb, but the fact that it's smaller is a good step in the right direction. But it's not just about the size of the LED chip that matters. Look at the construction. This is probably unlike anything you've seen on another LED bulb. Go look at the ones that you have now or what you see online. You're not gonna see something that looks like this. You see this exposed circuit board with the LED chip on it, and then there's these two little rectangles coming out of the side. That is how the LED chip is connected to the circuit board. This is a new technology that allows more of the heat from these custom made LED chips to dissipate using this 
copper pipe that goes down the body of the bulb. The way this heat management system is developed is unlike anything that you're gonna see on any other bulbs. The way the heat pipe works and connects to the heat sink, the way the heat pipe and the PCB interact with the LED chip, the type of LED chip that we have. This is the TST7045. The TST in this chip stands for thermal separation technology. It's more able to effectively dissipate heat, allowing the emitters to retain high luminous flux output. That results in 4,700 lumens of output and a considerably easier time installing the bulbs. There are zero downsides here. Depending on the color, these bulbs come in from 3,300 up to 4,700 luminous flux. They're available in the white 5,950 Kelvin or the yellow, which is a 3,000 Kelvin. They draw 43 watts of power, 3,300 milliamps of current. They work with voltage ranges from nine to 40 volts DC. And on top of all of that, they have a limited lifetime warranty. You can't go wrong with the Ultra 3. Look, you don't gotta take my word for it. Go check out our other videos. Every time you post in the comments, what about this bulb, what about that bulb? We do the testing and you can see them in our channel. Just go to other videos and find the bulbs where we compare the Ultra 3 against your favorites and show you how bad they get beat now. We've tested every single bulb you can think of, including the old Ultra 2 and even the Morimoto 2 stroke 4 and the SV4 and the Fa Ren or Farin and Hikari and Oxbeam and Sylvania, Beamtech and Sealite. These things crush them. If all you care about is the newest, the greatest, the latest, the best, the brightest, the GTR Lighting Ultra 3 is the king of the hill. And even if you don't care about all that stuff and you just want functionality and safety, these are also a good pick. I guarantee you, if nothing else, these are gonna give your vehicle a bright headlight and you're gonna see everything in front of you. So check out headlightrevolution.com, put in your make and model, and you're gonna see everything available for any car or truck.